of two possible events for two possible events coming up in Roblox. So yeah, these two events are really interesting, and particularly one called Project Miami. Um, and let me know what you guys think of these groups, and do you think they could be, one of them could be for our big event this year? Let me know in the comments, and let's get on to the groups. Yeah, me, by HD Frisk. Um, first, let's just um, check out the game. The game right now, um, it was last updated um, yesterday. I actually looked at the game yesterday. It had about two people playing. I didn't know who was exactly playing it, but yeah, this is definitely interesting. Uh, um, if you guys um, are hoping this is a non-sponsored event, let me know. Um, honestly, it could be non-sponsored. Um, there's like 50 play testers Now, originally, um, if you guys didn't hear of, I think, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, um, the Roblox event QA group shut down completely. It's disbanded. They're no longer really, that old QA group's no longer really doing anything. They're not really testing events anymore. They're just gone basically forever. I was going to make a video talking about how events could just be ending really soon, but I guess I'm not going to make that video anymore, mainly because of this group alone. And there's another one called Project Hammerfest, but it doesn't really seem as interesting as this one, especially when you check the playtesters. Now, oh, there's a bunch of other people like members, admin you know all that stuff but there are three like there's four people of interest now creek and that that's pretty cool that he's in it but there are three people that go by mrb gaming chandler mrb gaming chris and mrb gaming jimmy and if you guys did not know what mrb means i guess it means mr beast and as you can see um this is mr beast gaming uh, jimmy um and as of yesterday, I think he had 900 followers. In, in fact, um, last time I tried recording the last section of this, he had 2,600 2, followers. Now he's 2,735. So he's getting close to 3,000, and that's less than probably 24 hours of people discovering the profiles that they're in. Here's Chandler. He has 1,225. And I think there's... There's I, I, there's Chris, which has 1,000. Actually, he had 900 this morning. He's A lot of them are gaining a lot of followers, and I'm really interested to see what this group really is. But yeah, we could see Creek and Mr. Beast Gaming all in it, and you have a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, well, I meant testers in here. Um, try to find anybody that's recognizable. Not really anybody that's really recognizable, except for those two. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. We have six developers. One of them is online, and yeah. Um, what do you guys think this event will be? I honestly think it could be non-sponsored, and um, it, uh, if there's this much testers, I have a suspicion that this could probably be like some cool, like non-sponsored event that they're gonna like make for us just to kind of make us stop complaining. It might even be like a scavenger hunt event or some sort of like new type of event that could be groundbreaking to Roblox. But yeah, um, it could just be a sponsored event. We don't know yet. It could not even be a group for an event. But um, as of now, a lot of people are speculating that it could be a event or maybe even a non-sponsored event. We have another group called Project Hammerfest. This one's not as interesting. As you can see, it has a spam logo on here. And a lot of people are saying this could possibly be a spam-sponsored event. Honestly, with these event groups, they tend to put images that are like made as just to be funny, like as a complete joke on them. So it could just be a some a sponsored event, but we don't know as of yet. This one is quite interesting, but it could be something like sponsored. I don't, it could not be, because I'm so used back in 2019 when they um, had a penguin having a minigun. I just think the spam is just to be funny. But a lot of people are saying it could be a spam sponsored event that could be coming on that International Burger Day next month in May. So, um, yeah, these are the two upcoming event groups that really caught my interest recently, especially Project Miami, as you can see right here. Um, not the game, but the group specifically. Um, and it's really interesting. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this will be a non-sponsored event? Do you think this could be like our big event for this year? Do you guys think it just could be a small sponsored event? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay strong, Dark Army, and goodbye.